land and the ocean. In the ocean, these colors represent from dark blue to red. They flow to high concentration of chlorophyll. And chlorophyll is what? Yes, it is the it is the protein responsible for photosynthesis. So chloroplasts in plants or algae photosynthesize using chlorophyll. And we by measuring reflectance of light in, in, of electromagnetic radiation, we can map over the planet where microscopic plants in the ocean are abundant and where they're not. So where do you guys see them as abundant? So abundant would be the anything in the green to red. So you can see some abundant chlorophyll coasts. That's right. Along coastlines. And that's because along coastlines, two things happen generally. Uh, on many coasts, we have upwelling of nutrients. And that brings higher productivity to plants, to microscopic plants. But also, any you pick any river, major river basin and you see a plume. So the Congo River, there's a major plume associated with the outlet of the Congo River, or the Amazon, or the Mississippi. The Irrawaddy, any river on Earth, you'll see a plume of chlorophyll associated with it. So we're looking at changes through time in the biology of the ocean, and we can also look at productivity on land with this vegetation index. So what you're seeing is greening up, the dark greens, and then 